Hello and welcome to SOLIDWORKS Lesson 1.2. In this lesson we're going to be talking about beginning sketches. We'll start by going to the Sketch tab of our Command Manager. In this tab we see all of the tools that are available for sketching. If we put our mouse button over this first one here, it says this button creates a new sketch or edits an existing sketch. When we click on it, in our Property Manager it tells us a message which says select a plane on which to create a sketch for the entity. In our graphics window, we see three different sketch planes that define our drawing space. We're going to select the front plane, and that centers our view on that plane and shows us the origin, or the middle of that plane. We're going to start by clicking on this circle tool. When we click on the circle tool, it pops up in our property manager. We can choose our circle type, either a regular circle or a perimeter circle. There's also parameters down below. We can define where the center is and we can define the radius. It's easiest though to click in the graphics window to click that we want our center on the origin and we want our radius out here somewhere. We can then go and modify those parameters if we want or accept the circle with a green check mark. Now we see in our, our graphics window the circle we've created with a center on the origin and an undefined radius. If we look at this relation that's set up, it's a coincident relationship between the point one of the circle and the origin of the part. All right. This outside ring is blue because it is undefined. We can click it and drag it to make the radius bigger or smaller. We want all of our sketches to be fully defined, so we need to add a smart dimension to define this circle. So we'll go ahead and click on the smart dimension tool and the outside of this circle and we'll go ahead and make this 2.5 inches in diameter. Actually let's modify that so we can modify it and click on that dimension again double click on it and click 5.5. Okay, This turns the outside of the circle black and makes that fully defined. We can also see down here in the status bar that our sketch that we're currently editing is fully defined. To fully define a sketch, you need both relations and dimensions. It's important that each sketch has this. In this simple sketch of a circle, our relations are just the center of the circle is coincident to the origin, and the outside radius is dimensioned with this dimension here. Other sketches will be more complicated, but it's important to remember these two things are needed to fully define the sketch. When you're done with the sketch, go ahead and click on this Exit Sketch button in the top left, and you'll see that the Sketch 1 has appeared in the design tree.